welcome back to my channel. You guys have no idea what it took to be able to film right now. I have been sitting here for the last literally over an hour waiting to film and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to film this all the way through without being interrupted because my neighbor is literally like right on the other side of my window in his driveway using a uh, leaf blower, raking, um, cutting the grass and it's so loud especially the leaf blower like loud so if you follow me on instagram and <laughs> on my stories bitching about that but he's been done for a solid like half hour now with the leaf blower and i can hear him raking i can handle the raking i can't handle the leaf blower like you could hear it in my whole entire house so you definitely able to hear it in this video so i'm hoping that i get to finish this video without him starting that up again because I'll have to stop. Also, you guys like my background? <laughs> I'm blocking a lot of it, which is like super sad because it's so cute. But I am full-fledged Christmas over here. Like I have gotten almost all of my Christmas shopping done. Um, I already got wrapping paper yesterday. I'm probably gonna start wrapping presents this week. Um, the only thing that like isn't done in my house is the uh, Christmas tree because we get a real Christmas tree so I won't be able to put that up yet because it'll be dead by Christmas but that's coming in the next couple weeks you should get that like the day after or the weekend after Thanksgiving so everything also set up and ready to go so today I'm super super excited I don't have the box with me um it's actually in the other room I'm already sitting I'm not getting up um, I'm using the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie Palette. I am so excited. I've been wanting this palette forever now. I mean, this came out two years ago, a year and a half ago. So it's not new by any means, but it is on a huge, huge, huge sale right now. I was able to get like the entire PR kit. I got um, the Nudie Patootie Palette and three of the liquid lipsticks that comes with it um for $31 like that is a steal and then I got 10% off so I got it for really cheap and then I also picked up actually a second box for a Christmas present so I have a few of these <laughs> laying around my house but this is what I'm going to be using today it has a huge mirror in here I don't want to blind you guys or anything but um yeah so I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna do but I'm very excited. I did a poll on Instagram, you guys, so that you guys wanted to see it because I didn't know if you guys would be interested because it is like an older palette for sure. Like this is not a new release. Um, it's new to me, but I've only used it once. I used it yesterday and I loved it. I should have filmed my look yesterday, but I was in a rush, so I didn't. I'm taking the um, Gripping Primer from Cover FX. This is one of my favorite primers. It really just like keeps your makeup on. I'm gonna put my hair up that way it's not all in my face when I'm putting foundation and bronzer on and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going in with my absolute favorite, it's disgusting, the top looks gross. It's the Maybelline um, 24 Hour Super Stay Foundation in the shade 128. Cleaned it up a little bit because I couldn't handle how disgusting it looked. This is my absolute favorite, favorite foundation ever. I have my mirror over here, that's why I'm looking over here. Like when I do foundation, I can't hold it and put it on at the same time. It just doesn't work like that. So just bear with me. I don't understand how someone can be so loud outside. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. I asked you guys on, <laughs> on an Instagram poll if you guys wanted to see just the eye look or if you guys like watching like a video with everything because i feel like when i do the full face my videos are so long because i mean obviously i'm doing a lot more than just my eyes but you guys all said that you wanted to see everything which i was actually shocked about I'm not gonna lie and then i'm just gonna put a little bit more in spots that I feel like I need more coverage. I've actually had really 
like breaking out skin lately and I haven't had that in a really long time. Like since being pregnant, my first trimester was horrible. I had the worst skin. And then it completely, completely cleared up. And then just like the last like, week, I would say, like I started breaking out again, but I think it's because I've been sleeping different and I've been sleeping like on my hands. So this area has been breaking out quite a bit. So I think that's what it is. I can't help it because I can't sleep anymore. <laughs> like everyone's like, oh, just wake it all your sleep now. No, you can't sleep in your third trimester. Like it just doesn't work. So whatever way I can get comfortable and fall asleep, I'm doing it even if it's gonna break out my skin. Okay, foundation is on. The stuff I cannot get away from. I've got so many and nothing tops that one and it's like $9. So like every time I buy a high-end one and if it doesn't live up to that, I'm like, this isn't worth it to me because nothing beats this. Like my face was so discolored and uneven just a second ago and it looks so good in this last all day. Like this is one of the longest lasting foundations on me ever. I'm just gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and brighten and highlight and cover these dark circles. I'm just going to take a little bit of the e.l.f. 16-hour um, camo and I'm just going to dot that right underneath my eyes just to brighten and cover just a little bit more. I actually probably could have used less of this because <laughs> I just put a lot on. This stuff is very full coverage and a little bit goes a very long way. I probably could have just done like one tiny dot. Taking my Maybelline uh, Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, it's a really long name, I'm just going to set my face. This is also my favorite powder to set my face. And again, so cheap. I don't really bake per se when I'm doing this part. I do like, once I have my bronzer on, which you guys will see, I kind of just press all the powder in with my sponge, I feel like it really just sets the foundation and concealer rather than using a brush that's kind of like swirling that around when it's so wet. This just gives it a really flawless finish. And then I just, then I just take my brush, take a little bit more bring it down my neck and then I just swirl off any of the excess powder from putting it down with my sponge. <sighs> Pregnant stomach powder, it catches everything. Before that would just fall in onto the chair. Now it's not my stomach. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to bronze. I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is the best bronzer that there is. Nothing beats this. I have tons of bronzers and I just go back to this one every single time. It's so good. I'm not contouring my nose, but I do shade it a little bit, like on the sides underneath, and then I kind of go underneath my the front of my eyebrow. And I just feel like, I don't know what I'm doing with my hand. <laughs> I just feel like that just gives it some color on the face. And then I clean it up with um, translucent powder. My God, I can't talk. I clean it up with translucent powder, like you guys will see. But it kind of just makes it not like a white blob on the face, but I'm not like going in and contouring my nose, you know? Okay, now going back in with my translucent powder. It's really not actually translucent, it does have some color, but it's what I use to set my face. But I'm going to dip it into my sponge and just clean up that bronzer. And then I just take the same little bit and I draw a line up my nose. I 
and just like that is going to be all clean and it was really easy I don't sit there and like try to like clean it up and do like the cream contour at the nose and then do all that kind of stuff that's just too much for me so while I let this sit on my face to try to clean it up and bake it I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'll be right back okay brows are on that took a lot longer than I thought but it's okay we're okay I'm just gonna dust all of this baking off okay I'm going to finally start on the eyes which is probably why you guys are here anyways. I'm going to be using the Nudie Patootie, just like I said in the beginning. Ooh, I can flip this back. That's actually super helpful because I don't want to blind you guys the whole entire time. I don't know what look I'm going to do per se, but I do know I really want to use one of these two. Like, these are beautiful. If I can get my fingers on them. The Jaybird and uh, All Natural. I just don't know what look I want to do, <laughs> which is always what I struggle with. So I think I'm just gonna go in. Going in with strip first for the transition shade. I just really wanna build this color up and then always flick it out to the brow. And I am gonna bring that down onto the outer corner of my eye right here. Going in with a fluffier brush on the shade Undressed. I'm going to lightly apply that on the tops of Strip. Going in with Reveal, and I'm just going to focus that lower in the crease. Going back into Strip and Undressed. I'm just going to go on top of all of what I just did. We don't want harsh lines. Now dipping into the shade Nakey Nakey. First, I'm going to put down a little bit of translucent powder underneath my eyes. This just helps create the shape of what you're trying to go for and catch any fallout so it doesn't ruin your base. I'm going to first apply this using a pencil brush. At first, I'm just keeping this really low, and then when there's not a lot left, I'll start bringing it up into the crease. Strip and reveal. I'm going to blend that out. And now I'm going to cut the crease, that way these shadows really pop, and it's not going over top of like this dark brown that we just put on. that is done that was almost too easy like usually that takes me forever and I did that really really fast so all right hopefully everything else goes just as smooth going in with all natural I'm going to take that and spray that with max Fix plus like I always do and I'm just gonna start pressing that onto the lid I'm leaving the very inner corner open. Um, I want to use another shimmer shade there to kind of brighten this up. I'm taking some on my finger and I'm just going to pat that on. Sometimes it really helps pick up that glitter. Back in with Nakey Nakey. I'm kind of bouncing all over the place here, but I just want to blend those two colors together on the outer corner. There is quite a bit of fallout with that uh, all natural shade and it, it's like a pressed glitter so I kind of expected that so I'm glad that I put this down so if you are using this I really suggest packing your eye with a sponge and just putting some translucent powder underneath because once I brush all this away it's not going to be ruining my base which obviously nobody wants darkness or glitter underneath their eyes. All right so I said I was going to leave this open but I'm just going to put this all the way in. Okay I'm going to go and dust all of that away. I'm loving how smoky and like, I don't know, like almost like grungy gold that is. Usually I'm like sticking to like really lights and like I said, I was going to pop something bright in the inner corner. I mean, not in the inner corner, like, but like the very inner part of your lid. 
And I do that every time, but I was like, you know what? I think I just want to carry this all the way through. And I'm really glad that I did. I like how that turned out because I feel like I kind of do the same looks. You know, you get into like a, you like what you do and you just keep doing it just with different colors. So I'm kind of glad that I did leave that and just put that all the way through. I wish this palette had a black, that way I could like deepen this inner part even more to make it a little bit more smoky. But because I'm just using this, I'm not gonna even grab into a black, but typically if I was doing this look on my own, I probably would grab some black. So if you want to make this even like darker, if you're going on a night out, or if you want it really smoky, that's what I would be doing at this part. Going in on the bottom lower lash line, I'm taking Nakey Nakey, I'm kind of connecting that V that we created and dragging that in. But I'm not bringing that all the way in. I'm going to stop that probably like halfway in the middle of my lower lash line. I'm going to blend that out with Reveal and I have a little bit of Strip mixed in there as well. Now just with Strip, I'm going to blend all that out on the bottom. Okay, now that that's all blown out and smoky, I'm going to apply some liquid liner. I think I'm going to do a wing and then I'm going to apply some falsies and I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on. That took forever. Well, I mean, I also did the wing and the mascara. So I mean, like obviously that takes a little bit, but I did just film like a separate segment of how to do a wing liner. So if you guys are interested in that, this video is going to be at first. I'm going to have this wing liner up probably in the next few days. So come back to this video or subscribe to my channel and you guys will see that. I'll have the link down below once I post it and it's live. I've had so many requests on how to do wing liner and I could put it into one of these videos, but this video I know is already going to be so long. So I didn't want to add on top of that and make this another like hour long video. So it's just gonna be like a really quick, like probably not even 10 minutes to do the wing liner, but I give some really good tips and tricks and my favorite liners to use, how to make them match better. So yeah, now that that is all done, literally I've been filming for so long at this point, but we're almost there. Now I'm going to do the inner corner and the brow bone. I'm going to be using the shade Stark. This color has a super intense pink shift to it. The first time that I used it, I was really surprised. Okay, now that is on, like there is such like a pink shift to this. I love it. It's such a beautiful color. Like in the pan, you don't see that. Well, mine's a little bit dirty. In the pan, you don't see that at all. Like it looks like a stark white and it's called stark. So I thought that's how it would be. I was not picking it up as well as you do in person. Like if you were to see this in person, you would definitely see quite an intense pink shift, but it's so beautiful and unique. I love this color. For blush, I'm going to be using the Burt's Bees in the shade Bare Peach. Mine is actually like falling out of the pan. I don't know why I bought it and it was already like that. So. I have to like really be careful with this. And I feel like this has such like a subtle shimmer, not like a shimmer, but like a sheen. It has a sheen to it. It's not like a matte and it's definitely not, you know, like more like Luminoso from Milani, but it's so beautiful and subtle. I just love this. And I didn't know that buying it, like you can't tell in the pan at all that it has this beautiful sheen until you put it on your face. I'm taking my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I always like to put this on before I put my highlight on. That way it kind of like intensifies it a little bit and gives it something to stick to. Going in with my beloved Dose of Colors Fuego. This is by Desi and Katie. Obviously I've gotten a ton of use out of this. It's so beautiful and it's so intense. You can also make it a lot more subtle but the way that I do it, I want that gaming highlight. Always nose highlight. Nose highlight's like my favorite. It, Ron hates the nose highlight. And I don't know why, like I think it's so cute. Like look how intense that is. That is one intense highlight, man. I love it. And then I always, this is extra, but I always spray again once I put the highlight on just to really like blend it in. 
And sometimes if I feel like it looks a little bit choppy, I'll take like the clean part of my sponge and kind of just dot it. And that just really helps melt it in even more. And then for lips, in this bundle came three of her liquid lipsticks. These so far, I really like them. They're not, they, they're not like super, super drying whatsoever. I mean, they're not drying at all, which I am a fan of. Back in the day, I was like, oh my God, if it transfers whatsoever, like I hate it. Not anymore. My lips are so dry. I think that the super, super drying ones, like unfortunately the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones, those are just not my cup of tea. I think I have like three or four sitting in front of me. Of course, I can't find any of them. Oh, here's one right here. This color, they have the most beautiful colors, but they're so dry that they end up literally crumbling and like they fall on my chin, they crack, they show you every single line. Like, I don't like that. They don't budge besides the crumbles, but I'd rather have something that's comfortable and actually looks good and maybe wears off a little bit earlier than something like that. These are incredible. They're super, super emollient i would say they're not shiny they do dry down to a matte finish but they're never going to like suck the life out of your lips and be gross i love these these are incredible so i don't know which one i want to use in the bundle came topless nakey nakey which is actually funny because the darkest color in here is called nakey nakey and this is the lightest liquid lipstick it's kind of funny. And then this is Jaybird. Jaybird is definitely the darkest. So it kind of goes like that. I think for this look, I'm going to use Jaybird and then I'm just going to dot Nakey Nakey in the middle to make it a little bit lighter because this is actually really dark on me. This is really light on me. This one, topless, is like an everyday, easy throw on, kind of matches everything kind of look. But I feel like it's a little bit too pinky for what I have going on. So I think I'm going to do this Jaybird with topless on top. Also, the scent of these, I couldn't figure out what it was. And then she just came out with three new colors. And I watched her video. And it smells like apples. Like fresh apples. But not overpowering. But it's so different than every other liquid lipstick that I have. All the other ones are like super sweet and sugary and vanilla. Which don't get me wrong. I love. Like I love smelling like cake. But this is so like refreshing. Like I don't know. I really I like that she did it like that. So I kind of left the center of my lips there. That way I can put topless in there. I love that combo. It's the first time I've ever done that combo, but I really, really like this. All right, so I've been filming for over two hours now, and I am finally complete with this video. I really love how this look turned out. I love how like smoky, glittery, grungy glam this is. The lip, I am obsessed with this lip combo. This is like a really good winter, fall, kind of Christmassy kind of lip. And it's so comfortable. It feels so good on the lips. The smell isn't overpowering. I am a huge fan of these. The eyeshadows all blended out beautifully. I love all of them. The glitters are super pigmented. The This with the pink shift is really, really pretty. I love how everything turned out. I really like this look. Like I said earlier, if you guys are interested in how I got the wing, I'm going to be posting that in a later video this week, but it'll for sure be up this week. Put the link down below, that way you guys can click from it from this video if you guys are watching this a little bit later, or if you're watching this like the day that I posted it and it's not up yet, just come back to the video and it'll be on my channel. I hope you guys like how this look turned out. If you guys have this or if you are going to be buying it or recreating this look, let me know. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell down below. That way you guys don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.